First up on the factor, IsaiahFactor.com, that mysterious package from the Florida shooter has arrived in Houston, and we're told we're not in any danger. Now, just before FSU shooter Myron May attempted to cut down a room full of people at Florida State, he mailed a package to a Houston attorney. Shauna Dunlap with the FBI says they have retrieved that package, and it did not pose a threat to the public. Just what was in it is still unclear. Dunlap is referring all questions to the Florida FBI. As you may know, May went to law school at Texas Tech and worked as an attorney right here in the city of Houston. We have the details on the blog. And finally, in the factor, it's all about fashion now. Can young designers make a living right here in Houston? There's a strong possibility they can. We have more in this report. Hot thing. The runway was hot with an intimate and exclusive fashion show in the shadow of downtown Houston at Spring Street Studio. What's your fantasy? Awesome. Um, it's very rewarding when you work really hard on something. Dozens of people sat front and center to see Houston made fashions from various companies like Tossed Up Threads and Nella Couture. The event was hosted by Trevor Mays and Maggie Knoll for Houston's very own Fashion Week, a show that left designer Jasmine Green proud of the fruits of her labor. It's very marketable for me, especially with the urban nightlife. A lot of people go out and a lot of people like to get dressed in Houston. That's something that we do. Designer Shelly Allen says her payoff is making customers fully satisfied with her creations. A three-year labor process. It felt good, you know, to be able to make somebody else feel good and have confidence about themselves on a daily basis. While the city is making moves with its own fashion week and shows like this one spearheaded in part by tag team publicity, Allen says we still have a ways to go. I feel like we have the capacity and the people here in order to make it grow a lot more. That's it for The Factor. 